Consumer Reports phone experts have been busy testing the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. The day started at 3 a.m. for our secret shoppers who get in line to buy the phones just like you. Once we bought them, the phones headed to our labs. We dumped them in our pressurized water immersion tank since they're the first iPhones to claim any water resistance. Apple says the 7s can survive the IP67 international standard for water resistance, which is one meter of water for 30 minutes. Our preliminary results show an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are working, but we'll check them again to confirm those results. The new iPhones got a lot of attention because they don't have a headphone jack. Instead, Apple gives you earbuds that plug into the phone's lightning charging port. If you're partial to your old headphones, Apple also supplies an adapter, and we found you won't lose any sound quality using it. We also listened to the new stereo speakers and found they're louder than the 6S and give you a sense of stereo separation, but they sound tinnier than the speakers on the 6S. In our still camera test, we analyze photos using precision software and the trained eyes of our experts. We found the main camera using the 1X lens on the phones we tested today is comparable to the iPhone 6S. That includes low light, which Apple claimed would be better. The new 2X lens with optical zoom on the 7 Plus is sharper than its own 1X lens and the one on the 6S. Overall, we've seen smartphones that take better still photos. In our preliminary selfie cam tests, we found the 7 to be a bit sharper than the 6S, but comparable. The selfie cam on the 7 Plus we tested was visibly sharper than the 7. We'll be back to you with our full review, including battery life, as soon as our testing is complete.